Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Well, the PP SSPP emulator 1.8.0 is out. And actually this was released back in March, but I wanted to do a video on how to get this uh, PlayStation Portable emulator running on your jailbroken iDevice. So this is gonna be running on my iPhone XR. This is on 12.1 using the Chimera jailbreak. And I wanted to give just kind of a, and I wanted to tackle and show you guys how to get this running and how to get uh, games running on your iDevice. Because I've been knowing that it's, for a while the, the PlayStation Portable uh, emulator was crashing for a bit, but there's been a lot of new bug fixes and a lot of new updates within this 1.8.0 version. So we're going to go ahead and tackle this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link for this website for the PPSSPP emulator uh, in the description down below. So make sure that you guys do check that out, navigate over to there, and then you're going to hit their download section. And then from their download section, you're going to navigate over to their iOS section. And especially if you are jailbroken, you can go ahead and tap on the one that says, uh, add Cydia source. So what it's going to do is actually going to populate Cydia. So you can go, if you have Cydia installed onto your, on your device using my previous methods, you can go ahead and install it from there. I personally like using Cilio. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to copy the source and I've actually pasted it into my Cilio sources. So that way I can, I actually just come, become so accustomed to using Cilio. I've really haven't had a chance to get back into Cydia for some time now. But as you can see here, I do have the source and the repo right here too. So all you need to do is just plug it in, hit that plus button, add in the repo and then hit done. And then it should go ahead and load. And then there's two, only two packages within this repo, the dev latest and then the dev working. So these are the newest versions of the PPSSPP emulator. And as you can see here, once we load up the application, it runs normally, no crashes when you first start. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to show you guys a little bit of, of uh, some game footage here. I was able to download a couple of games. I'm trying to get this guy to focus here. And we're having a little trouble here focusing. That's okay. Let's go ahead and navigate over to the PPSSPP uh, game section. And right here we have Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII up and loaded. This is a... Uh, Honestly, a, a, a classic of mine that I've just, I love playing this game, especially in high school and junior, uh, high school and college actually, when this game came out, that was for me. But this was uh, an amazing game. I loved playing this and it just runs normal. It runs perfectly. And then also the great thing about this is that this emulator actually updated uh, the fact that where if you start out the game, you don't need to create, you don't need to have a save data already implemented in the game. You can start immediately from the beginning of the game and it will load correctly. A while you couldn't load the actual game, you would have to or run the beginning of the game, you would have to load up a save data and then progress from there, which was pretty annoying in itself. But I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to get this game and a couple of, and just how to get this, you know, the PBS SPP emulator working on your iDevice. So we do have the dev latest working. We installed it via Cilio. So make sure that you guys do download that. And then there's two applications that we're going to need. We're going to need the files manager, and then we're also going to need files. Uh, now with files, uh, that comes from the big boss repo. And I'm going to leave that just that source in the description down below. You should already have this uh, tweak in this application by default if you have Celio. So if you guys for whatever reason deleted the big boss repo, I'll leave their source in the description down below. Go ahead and check that out. Download the source and then download uh, files of the app manager because you are going to need that. So from there, then we're going to also need our files download manager. I love this download manager. It's been it served me well. Anytime that I need any of my applications downloaded and then extracted, I can count on this file uh, manager app. So go ahead and navigate over to the app store and then hit the search button. And then I want you guys to search for files, just the word files. And then I'm going to show you guys and I'll leave. Uh, also, I'll, you know what I'll do is I'll leave the link for this guy in the description down below too. That way you can just click on it. That way you don't have to search for it like how I just did. But this is the application that you're going to want to download. This is the one that it served me well. I've never had any sort of issues or problems with it. This is just, a, it's a good download manager for all your applications. So you have your three different applications that you have here. We're going to open up the files manager app and we're going to navigate over into free ROMs. So free ROMs is a great source to get any of your games from. I've downloaded Final Fantasy, uh, the Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 from here. It's a pretty big download. It's about 1.7 gigs of 
uh, memory that just takes up from your device. So it's not that big of, of a file, but it is pretty big. And then I, as you can see here, I have it downloaded. After hitting the download link, it'll automatically download. And then when you click on the actual uh, ISO or the actual file, you can unpackage it and it'll give you two different files. So it'll give you your ISO file, which is what you're gonna need, and another, uh, another generic file that you really don't really need. So once we tap on the little eye next to the ISO, we can actually open this up in the, uh, not the, in files, excuse me. So from files, uh, what you do is once you hit the open in, tap on files uh, and then just wait. What's gonna happen is it's going to transfer over into files. It's gonna take a minute. It's about 1.7, it's about 1.7 gigs. So it's gonna take a minute to transfer you back over into files. Uh, once it does, it will automatically have the the actual excuse me the actual ISO under your documents folder, and then from what he, from here what I ended up doing is locating my PP or the PlayStation Portable fo folder, and then created my own game folder from there. Now from the game folder, I just copied and pasted the ISO into the game folder, and then from the PPSSPP emulator, I ended up navigating back and finding the where I you know set the ISO so it's under games I, I searched for the actual PSP folder looked for games and then I was able to find my game from there was able to load it up boot it and no and then just at that point didn't have any issues or problems with it at that time and then as far as the settings go there have been some recommendations to change the settings I haven't changed the settings at all with my iPhone XR it's running perfectly I haven't had any sort of uh, problems with it the only actually the only, let me take that back the only other issue or problem that i have had on this was that uh the game sometimes the emulator may not work and it may not start up just reboot your device re jailbreak and then it it continues to load from there that's the only issue that i've actually had to run into but from there i hope you guys did like this little tutorial if you guys did if you found it informative please like comment subscribe and i'll be catching you guys on the next video peace that means that extra, extra.